Hi, in this slide, uh, I want to uh, discuss combining two things, mastery and then the flow, the concept of flow. And there's overlap here with previous slides, but there is some method to my madness. I'm hoping that as uh, uh, leaders of, of service management teams uh, look at these, they say, you know what, I'm going to make each one of the individual employees watch, you know, certain modules, three, four, or five, as many times as they want to, and then I'm going to tell them to come back to me with a plan, a personal plan, for how they're going to grow themselves at a pace that they think is you stressful, uh, gets them in flow, etc. Make them responsible for being sort of a self-authoring, self-teaching kind of person. I'm happy to be here as a coach, as a quote ma master, whatever. But I can't. We can't do this unless they want to take some responsibility for this themselves. So this is a variation on a theme, where what we've done is um, the the author anyway. The slide um, has said, all right, if I want to improve a skill. You know, I can read about it. I can go out and learn by doing kind of thing. And I keep working on the skill. But I've, if I notice that, you know what, I'm getting bored. Then that suggests, well, how do I increase the pace um, or the stakes to the point where, you know what, now I'm not bored and I, you know, have a chance of getting a flow. We could take an alternative thing, which is here's where I am. I'm going to purposely put myself in a more stressful situation. And with stress, I'm going to start seeing, doing, you know, improvising, because some people need that. Um, and then what's, what I'm going to do is rapidly improve my skills to the point where, okay, uh, I'm happy again. Two different, very different personality types. I know people, I had a friend who was a minister, and he would get up on Sunday morning at five o'clock in the morning and write his sermon that he was going to give at the eight o'clock, nine fifteen, and eleven thirty shows at his church. I said, "Well, why do you?" He said, "Well, you know, I just need that kind of deadline pressure to get going." I knew another uh, priest who always methodically, mechanically had his sermon substantially done and in the can. Um, before Friday, which was his actual day off. And then he had a, a, a process of polishing it and practicing it out loud in his garage on Friday afternoon. So it was all done and it, it didn't interfere with his family life on Friday night or Saturday kind of thing for the weekend. So one person is able to take this approach and then say, let's go to the show time. Other people say, no, I need to have a lot of stress to be able to fill the gap to get there. It doesn't matter. You know, the point is, is that there's an interplay between these, these two things of skill and challenge, and we've got to find our own way to sort of stay in this pattern. Now, one problem I have with this, this flow channel is if you go back to George uh, Leonard's mastery path, it doesn't go at a 45 degree angle. It really kind of goes at a, at a more of a asymptotic uh, level like this. Uh, so that uh, beginnings are hard, the plateaus are a little bit longer, but that's that's a quibble. Uh, the key thing is to be aware of these uh, learning how to learn design skill tools and use them. Fail forward with these tools. Thank you.